What is up friends, today I want to talk about a South Park theory I've explored before and that is the idea that Eric Cartman is subconsciously in love with Kyle Broflovsky. I know to you South Park fans out there this might seem far-fetched seeing as how Cartman constantly hates on Kyle, but I promise there's some real evidence here. The root of my theory stems from the idea that when children have crushes on each other, they often will make fun of or bully the person they're crushing on. It's not only a trope we see in media, but it's something that stems from real life. Kids exert their confusing emotions in strange and sometimes aggressive ways. I definitely think that this is what's happening with Cartman and Kyle in South Park, and now I'm gonna lay out that sweet, sweet evidence for you. I personally started thinking about this idea back in season 11, and I'm not the only one. There's a massive shipping fandom called Kaiman that wants to see Kyle and Cartman get together. Back in the Imagination Land trilogy, Cartman infamously bet Kyle that leprechauns are real, and I think you remember what was on the line. <laughs> we have a deal, Kyle. If I can prove there's a leprechaun, you have to suck my balls, remember? On the surface, it definitely just looks like another example of Cartman trying to humiliate Kyle, but what really makes me question this is the length Cartman went to secure aforementioned ball sucking. He traveled across the country, completely ignoring the insane Imagination Land related events occurring around him, just so that Kyle would suck his balls. And even though Kyle never actually sucked Cartman's balls himself, Cartman made sure it happened in one way or another. And there's Kyle! And what's Kyle about to do? Oh, Kyle! This was when I really started to wonder if there was any more evidence pointing to Cartman's romantic tendencies towards Kyle. In the episode Cancelled, there was a moment when the boys were trying to activate the anal probe that had been placed in Cartman's ass. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody is putting their finger in my ass again. Unless it's Kyle. In the episode Fat Button Pancake Head, Cartman turns his hand into a face and pretends that it's Jennifer Lopez, and this hand version of J-Lo was pretty attracted to Kyle. Miss Lopez, do you like Kyle? Oh, she, she, very much. Miss Lopez, would you like to give Kyle a kiss? Mm, seems to me like Cartman's subconscious attraction is being expressed through Jennifer Lopez. In the episode Smug Alert, Kyle and his family move to San Francisco, and when a catastrophic smug storm threatens to destroy the city, Cartman goes far out of his way just to save Kyle and his family. Kyle! Cartman, of course, claimed that he missed arguing with Kyle, but I think you can see the pattern by now. Dude makes a lot of excuses to place himself really close to Kyle. The best evidence for this theory is in the season 16 episode Cartman Finds Love, where Cartman tries to set Token up with the new girl Nicole. The problem is that Nicole has a crush on Kyle, and Cartman uses a very interesting tactic to keep Kyle away from her. Me and Kyle are kind of, you know, together. Oh. Yeah, he's my man. And he's the best boyfriend I've ever had. I mean, what else is there to say, people? Sure seems like Cartman is super into Kyle, even if it's just on a subconscious level. I know that Eric was with Heidi Turner for a lot of season 20 and 21, and a lot of people argue that this means he isn't into Kyle, but I really disagree. I think Cartman's infatuation with Kyle is mostly subconscious, and having a relationship with one character doesn't remove the possibility that he's got feelings for another character. I don't necessarily ship Kyman because I don't really see Kyle reciprocating those feelings, but I truly think Cartman has a subconscious his crush on Kyle whether or not he realizes it. And if you're still not convinced, check out this sweet, sweet montage of other Cartman and Kyle moments that I left out. Kyle, I love you, man. Damn it, when we kiss, there's magic. Don't let it go, Kyle. I want to hold you every morning and love you every night, Kyle. I promise you nothing but love and happiness. I swear, I love you, man. Bye. If you watched this video and thought, haven't I seen this before? It's because this was actually one of my first and most successful videos I ever made for my channel, but recently Viacom blocked it worldwide. Damn you Viacom, I'm trying to promote your show. So instead of recutting the video I made over two years ago, I decided to just do it again, but better. And on that note, let's throw it to you folks. How do you feel about the Cartman Loves Kyle theory? Let me know below in the comments. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more of my cartoon content. I'll catch you later. Johnny! Two challenge!